it was it was a pretty good run. The trail was a lot better than I expected. Um, it's kind of hard and hard and fast, and the tussocks weren't so bad, so it went a little better than I expected. How's the team doing as far as like uh, trying to beat the heat? Obviously, that's the plan here. It sounds like. I mean, they're they seem to be doing so far pretty well, you know, because we've been seem like we've been hitting a good portion of the heat, you know, the last few days, and they have been doing all right with it. Um, it's nice though; they're gonna get a good three to four hours right here, right in the sun, though, resting. So. You gotta be feeling pretty good, like where you are now. Eat, eat in between. I don't want to mess up the hot <laughs> no, meal. <laughs> the um, you gotta be feeling pretty good about their the pace where you're at right now. I mean, I know it's only the halfway point, but it's a big, strong group up here at the front that's mm -hmm. capable of big things. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, I mean, mine are mine are doing well and definitely a lot of good competition right now which is, makes it a lot more fun too so I don't know just got to keep you know going checkpoint to checkpoint and holding your team together and doing what you have to do to maintain them so. good rest I'd say as far as the mental game in it you get a good night a good 24 and feeling good about you and the team yeah definitely the 24 the dogs ate well and had a good rest and it was it was good and it was good to be back in Takata too. So, you know, every run is different. And so I'd like to talk about what different plans that, you know, might pan out and, you know, where you could try to get. But everything changes, as, you know, with the, with the dog's performance. So I don't know. It's, we talked about that a lot. I think it goes back to, like, me and Pete talking about it all winter. So <laughs> here we are. We're actually in it now. But you, I mean, for people that think like you might be like dropping strategy to like trick your, you know, competition, this, it's, it's, I haven't heard much of that. Like when you ask that, like the old days where you had the people leaving early or trying to like, you know, sleep in cabins and slip out. Like, I just feel like you guys are a kind of healthy group that hasn't performed a lot of that trickery. Yeah. And we got a long ways to go too. So, I mean, I don't think there's any trickery needed at this point. <laughs> You're saying it's not beneath you though, if it comes to that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How much would it mean to you to uh, just kind of finish with a super strong team this year and best your record? And um, obviously last year was a good year. I mean, that's what we try to do every year. Um, you work work with these dogs every year and you hope to improve on it. And so that's what, what we're here for. Um, yeah. But the rewarding aspect of it, like as a musher to watch your team grow like that. I mean, you get closer every year. You learn well, more I, about them all. Yeah, I mean... Definitely. I, mean, I raised every one of these guys since they were little puppies, so to see them pr perform at the highest level of mushing, and it's really rewarding. So. And what's the dumbest last question is, what's the dumbest question media has asked you so far? How's the trail? <laughs>